YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about keyword difficulty. The goal of search engine optimization is to ensure your target keywords show up at the top of the search. But not every keyword is easy to rank. Some keywords will rank without any effort whatsoever on your part and some keywords can be so insanely hard to rank that you would not want to target them before you build a page around a focus keyword. You would want to know how easy or hard it will be to rank and that is what we try to do when we try to estimate keyword difficulty. Many keyword tools like Ahrefs, Moz, Keyword Revealer and others give you keyword difficulty estimates. For instance, if we go to KeywordRevealer.com and estimate keyword difficulty for home security system, the tool says the keyword difficulty score for this keyword is 50. According to Ahrefs, the keyword difficulty score for this keyword is 65 and Moz says the keyword difficulty score for this keyword is 49. Each tool will have its unique way of computing keyword difficulty and they do not reveal the formula they use to compute it. While the KD score estimates given by these tools are certainly very good indicators of how much effort and resources may be needed to rank for the keyword, they do not always present the complete picture. Now in next few videos we will take a look at keyword difficulty and the factors you need to look at before you select a target keyword for a page. Now we look at several metrics for a few keywords. Some of them are very easy to rank, some are easy, two are of medium difficulty and the remaining two are insanely hard to rank. In coming videos, we will see what makes keywords like these easy to easy or hard to rank. If you are working on a new website, you would want to target mostly very easy or easy keywords. Ideally, with the new website, you would not want to target medium or hard keywords. Once your website have gained some authority, you could target harder keywords as well. Page rank is an algorithm developed by Google's founder Sergey Brin and Larry Page or one it or one of its successors is now used by Google to determine the importance of any web page on the internet. In the, in its simplest form, every web page on the internet is assigned a certain weight. A link from page 0 to page 1 transfers some of the authority of page 0 to page 1. Further, if page 1 links to another page, page 2, then a part of the authority that flowed to page 1 from page 0 is now transferred to page 2. So page 2 now ends up with the higher authority than either page 0 or page 1. On the other hand, if page 1 links to two other pages, page 2 and page 3, the authority that flowed from page 0 is now split between these two pages. So the authority of the page depends on the number of pages linking to the page and the number of pages it link out to. The more incoming links a page has, the higher will be its authority. In this diagram, page 2 has 4 incoming links and no outbound links. So it will have the most authority and pages 0, 4, 5 and 6 have no incoming links and one outbound link. So these pages will have the least authority. The more outbound links our page has, the lower will be its authority. Page 2 has one incoming link, but for outbound links, these outbound links will reduce its authority.
pages that are linked to from high authority pages will have a very high authority themselves page 2 has four incoming links and it links out to page 3 so page 3 will end up with a lot of authority because it has a link from page 2 page 3 actually ends up with more authority than page 2 even though it has only one incoming link while page 2 has four incoming links this is a very very simplistic explanation of the page rank algorithm but at least a very basic understanding of page rank is essential to understand concepts like page authority and domain authority just like every page on a website has some level of authority a domain also has a certain level of authority after all a domain is just a collection of individual web pages since google do not reveal the page rank of a web page any more companies like moz ahrefs and majestic have created algorithms that compute these metrics for web pages and websites you would want to know that these are not metrics google cares about these are metrics that are created by other companies and they may or may not be close to google's own metrics for web pages and websites these companies have essentially simulated google's page rank algorithm and come up with these estimates the authority of a web page depends primarily on the number of other web pages that link to it so these companies have crawlers that go out into the world wide web and try to find out all of the web pages that link to and are linked from any particular web page the matrix they report depends primarily on the number of links their crawlers are able to find this is an operation that requires an enormous amount of resources and computing power since none of these companies can match google in terms of resources and computing power the number of links they discovered may not be comparable to what google discovers also google may not treat every link the same way google may penalize a domain and links from penalized domains are not countered by google in their page rank compute computation and these companies may not know a certain domain has been penalized by google so there will always be difference between these metrics and google's page rank for a page since we seos cannot access google's page rank scores for web pages we rely on metrics from ahrefs moz and majestic to make some of our decision moz has two metrics for pages and domains page authority and domain authority here we will see that moz has these metrics for pages and domains page authority and domain authority similarly ahrefs has url rating and domain rating and majestic has trust flow and citation flow trust flow and citation flow are more commonly called flow metrics and are not exactly the same as moz PA EDA or AHREFS URDR we we'll look at this in the next video domain authority page authority and url rating and domain rating are measured on logarithmic scales so a domain with the domain authority of 50 is a lot lot more authoritative compared to one with the domain authority of 20 in addition there are couple of other number you would need to look at for any website backlinks and reference domains of the two the number of reference domains is a very important metric the greater this number the more authoritative a website is for instance cnn.com has 959000 referring domains whereas amazon.com has 3.42 million referring domains these are massive massive authority sites 
and each ranks for millions of keywords whereas this website bluepenguincoffee.com has only 17 referring domains this is not an authority website as it has so few referring domains i do not know who runs this website and there is no particular reason I picked that it's just one of those websites I came across while doing research of these videos. In addition, what also matters is the number of referring domains that have a very high domain authority or domain dating. If you were to look at the DR values of the domains that link to Amazon.com, you will see this list of hundreds of thousands of very high DR domains and if you were to look at the domain rating values of domains that link to bluepenguincoffee.com there are just a handful of powerful domains that link to it. In general websites with a lot of index pages and reference domains tend to have very high domain authority or domain rating scores. For instance, CNN.com has 42 million index pages and 959,000 referring domains, which is why it has a domain rating of 93, while BluePenguinCoffee.com has around 273 index pages and 17 referring domains, and it has a domain rating of 0 0.5. Another very important number you would want to look at is the number of keywords a site ranks for. For the more keywords a site ranks for in Google, the more authoritative it is in Google size. VilluPenguinCoffee.com ranks for 1100 keywords, which is actually not bad, while CNN.com ranks for a whopping 30 million keywords. Today, we will further discuss the topic of keyword difficulty Trust flow and citation flow are metrics created by Majestic and these are not exactly the same as page authority or domain authority and URL rating or domain rating. Trust flow of a website is a number that reflects the number of links the page has from a seed set of highly trusted websites. The more a page trust flow is, the higher the value of a link from that page. At least that's how it's supposed to be. Majestic has a seed set of highly trusted websites like Wikipedia, Forbes, New York Times, Microsoft, NASA and others like them. This way of looking at the internet divides website into several categories, a seed set of highly trusted websites. These sites are like the gold standard of the internet. The integrity of these websites is beyond question. They are leaders in their particular categories. You cannot buy backlinks from these websites. These websites in the trusted seed set link only to very high quality websites. A set of websites that are linked to by sites in the seed set of highly trusted sites these are sites that are directly linked to from sites in the seed set of highly trusted sites these are also very very high quality websites the more links a site has from sites in the seed set the higher its trust flow tends to be sites that are linked to from the second set and so on these are sites that have direct links from the second set of sites. The more links site has from sites in the second site, the more its trust flow will be. But a link from any of these sites does not pass the same amount of trust flow that a link from a site in the seed set would. This can continue an infinitum. A link from any of the sites in the seed set passes a lot of trust flow. A link from any of the sites in the second set also passes a lot of trust flow, but not quite as much as a link from a site in the seed set would. And this continues. Links from sites that are very far from the seed set of sites are almost worthless 
they are junk links the closer a site is to the seed set of sites the higher its trust flow tends to be cf or citation flow is a measure of the total number of links a site has a site that may have just a handful of links but if all of these are from sites in the trusted seed set the site trust flow will be high on the other hand a site may have thousands of links but if all of these are from sites that are too far away from the seed set the trust of the website will be very low while its citation flow will be high ideally a site citation flow should be lower than its trust flow in the ratio of trust flow to citation flow is one or greater that's a good sign as it means at least some of the links pointing to the sites are from highly trusted sites but if the ratio of trust flow to citation flow is almost zero it means the site has a lot of links but almost all of these are junk links typically a trust flow of 20 or more uh, typically a trust flow of 20 or more is considered good so if we consider the very popular websites we will see that what are the trust flow rating or citation flow rating is like here we can see that cnn.com has a trust flow of 82 and citation flow of 75 these numbers are exceptionally good blue penguin.com has a trust flow of 5 and citation flow of 14 further citation flow is almost trust flow which is not a very positive thing as it means the site has mostly junk links while microsoft.com has a trust flow of 96 and a citation flow of 96 and the ratio of trust flow to citation flow is 1 which is considered to be very good and so moving on to the next topic in general keywords that are targeted by a lot of websites tend to be harder to rank what matters is who your comp- competitors are their skill level and the amount of resources they have at their disposal some markets are dominated by multi million dollar or multi billion dollar companies if you are a small company or an individual you would not want to take on these markets these are markets like insurance gambling medication mortgages and the likes company that are dom- companies that are dominating the serps in these markets have teams of seos who have millions of dollars at their disposal there is not much a small company or an individual can do in these markets these companies can produce phenomenally good content and their websites tend to garner very powerful links naturally and they have highly skilled seos on their payrolls who optimizes just about everything that can be optimized and some markets are dominated by exceptionally skilled and very successful seos markets like payday loans these people know the game inside out and also have fairly large budgets unless you are someone like them you would not want to take on these markets either there is a lot of space that still wide open for small companies and individuals by learning what to look for and how to use keyword research tools you can pick niche market where you can make an impact for instance take a look at these keywords these are not keywords a fortune 500 company would willingly spend a million dollar to rank for in fact there is probably no one who would be willing to spend even 500 dollars to rank for these keywords these are not keywords that can bring in a lot of high value business to big and powerful companies which is possibly why they do not go after keywords like these but on the other hand for keywords like these large and powerful insurance companies would be eager and willing to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to rank 
these keywords can be very important to their bottom line and they will do all they can to rank for these kinds of keywords which is what makes these keywords really hard to rank while tools like ahrefs moz keyword revealer and others use a number to indicate keyword difficulty you would want to know that there is much about it that cannot be encapsulated in a single number you would always need to look at the top 10 results to get a fairly good idea of keyword difficulty in other words you would want to get a good idea of who your competitors are we will need to look at quite a few different things before we can get a good estimate of how hard it will be to rank for a keyword we will of course pay a lot of attention to keyword difficulty scores reported by keyword research tools but we will also look at the number of all entitled results all url results authority of the pages that are in the top 10 types of websites that are ranking in the top 10 topical relevance of the pages in the top 10 results and much more we will continue to discuss the, our topic keyword difficulty keyword tools like moz ahrefs semrush keyword revealer uber suggest and other display keyword difficulty scores that are good indicators of how much effort and resources will be needed to rank for a particular keyword each of these tools use different methods to arrive at these scores so keyword difficulty scores reported by one tool may not match with that reported by another tool like keyword revealer and keyword finder use page authority and domain authority to compute keyword difficulty so the keyword difficulty scores reported by these tools for a keyword tend to be somewhat close to the scores reported by each other though they may not exactly be the same other tools may not use moz's matrix and hence the number may seem very different tools like ahrefs have their own metrics like url rating and domain rating and so their keyword difficulty scores will be different for instance for the keyword best light roast coffee moz reports a keyword difficulty scores of 12 keyword revealer reports a keyword difficulty score 27 and ahrefs reports a keyword difficulty scores of 0 if you are going to be using moz keyword revealer or keyword finder then you would want to mostly target keywords that have keyword difficulty scores less than or equal to 35 these are easy keywords and if you are going to be using ahrefs then you would want to stick to keyword with keyword difficulty scores less than or equal to 2 if you are building new sites establish sites with high authority and relevance can easily rank for much harder keyword phrases but new sites should not target phrases that are not easy to rank here are the key difficulty scores for a few keywords a relatively high keyword difficulty score may not always mean a keyword is hard to rank and a relatively low kd score may not always mean a keyword is very easy to rank while keyword difficulty scores are very good indicators that can help you pick keywords to target they do not always tell the whole story there are things that need to be looked at before we can decide whether a keyword is really very easy to rank or not moving on to our next topic which is all in title the presence or not of a keyword in a page's title is a very important ranking signal. Google does pay a lot of attention to the title of a page. Google reads a page title to get an idea of what this page is about. So a page discussing decaf coffee bean may have a title like best decaf coffee beans in 2022. Google will look at the title and guess what the page may be about. And when someone searches for best decaf coffee, it may list this page in the SERPs. 
the number of pages that have your target keyword phrase is there in their titles is usually another pretty good indicator of how hard a phrase may be to rank for google's all in title operator gives the number of pages in its index with the keyword phrase in the page title the syntax is all in title keyword phrase you can also use google advanced search to get this number just make sure you enter your target keyword phrase in this text box and this option terms appearing in the title of the page is selected and click advanced search and you will see the number of all entitled results here these are the number of all entitled results for our chosen keyword as a general rule of thumb keywords with all entitled less than 50 should be very easy to rank keywords with all entitled values between 50 to 150 are still easy to rank keywords with all entitled values between 150 to 250 should be considered medium difficulty keywords and keywords with all entitled values much larger than 250 would be a lot harder to rank Again all in title is another indicator of keyword difficulty with the advent of rank brain Google now understands context a lot better than it used to be in the past so even if a page does not have a keyword phrase in the title Google may still rank it at a very top if it concludes that page is very relevant to what the user may be searching for so the importance of the all in title operator as an indicator of keyword difficulty is declining all in title may not always gives an accurate estimate of a keyword difficulty a keyword may have only 20 websites targeting it so the all in title value may be only 20 indicating the keyword should be very easy to rank but if all of these 20 websites are highly optimized and relevant for the keyword and how have powerful and relevant backlinks the keyword will still be extremely hard to rank nevertheless all in title is still a helpful number you would want to look at while phrases with very low all in title results may not always be easy to rank phrases with very high all in title results can be very hard to rank keywords in url is another important ranking signal google uses so the number of websites that have a particular keyword phrase in the url can be used as an indicator of competition google's all in url search operator can be used here the syntax is all in url keyword phrase for example all in url best coffee maker returns the number of web pages that have all of the words best coffee and maker in the url you could also use google advanced search to get this number here are the all in url results for our list of keywords again this is a good indicator of keyword difficulty keywords with very low all in url results should be very easy to rank and those with a lot of pages with the keyword in the url should be harder to rank there is another thing you would want to look at while analyzing the serps for keyword difficulty if you see dynamically generated pages ranking in the top 10 that is usually a very good sign the phrase is easy to rank these pages will have query strings in their urls something like this for example your urls with query strings ranking in the top 10 would be a very good thing as it would mean with a very well optimized page you should be able to rank for the phrase without too much difficulty number of words in the keyword phrase is another good indicator of keyword difficulty generally keyword phrases with more than 4 words are easier to rank 
while keyword phrases with less than three words are harder to rank. The hardest to rank for are single words, not just because the competition tends to be very high, but also the search intent for single word is not always obvious. If you are using Ahrefs, you can get the tool to list all keywords that meet any word count criteria. To do this, go to the Keyword Explorer, run a search for your seed keyword, click either on all keyword ideas or on phrase match and then set values for the word count filter and the tool will list all keywords that contains at least 4 keywords or the keyword count you searched. Ahrefs ranks sites in their database based on the number and quality of their backlinks. Sites with an extremely good backlinks profile have very low Ahf ranks, while sites with relatively poor backlinks have a high AR. Facebook has a AR of 1 and Twitter has a AR of 2. The full list of the top 1 million sites is here. Here is how you can see that Ahrefs rank for sites ranking in the top 10. We will go to the keyword explorer and run a search for a keyword, say coffee and scroll down to the SERP overview section. You will be able to see the Ahref rank for each of the sites in the top 10. The maximum AR of any site in this list is 2.5 million. Contrast this with the AR values of site in the list of for the keyword best bird grinder for course grind. The maximum AR value for any site in this list is 68 million which means sites with very weak backlinks profile are managing to break into the top 10 for this keyword which does mean this is likely to be extremely easy to rank for. Sites ranking for the keyword coffee have an extremely good backlinks profile while some sites are ranking for the keyword best burr grinder for course grind have very poor backlinks profiles. And sites with very poor backlinks profile are easy to beat. In some cases, the sites ranking in the top 10 may have relatively good AR values, but the keyword may still be very easy to rank because no website is well optimized for this particular keyword and Google is pulling irrelevant results from authority websites. If you target such keywords with well optimized pages on relevant sites, you should be able to rank for these phrases very easily. For instance, consider this keyword coffee. Does coffee ice cream have caffeine? The sites in the top 10 have a very good AR. These are all authority sites. But then Ahrefs says the keyword difficulty score for this keyword is 1. This is because the sites that are ranking for this keyword hardly have any backlinks. A couple of them have no backlinks and one of them has only one backlink and not all of the results are well optimized for this keyword. For instance, this page is not optimized for this keyword. We will look more closely at on-page optimization in coming videos, but this page is not focused on answering this question, and this is not optimized for this keyword. So if you create a page that is focused on answering just this one question and optimize it well, you should be able to rank for this phrase relatively easily. Now take a look at AR values of the pages ranking for this keyword insurance company. Some of these have nearly a million backlinks and many have hundreds of thousands of backlinks. Eight of the top 10 sites have AR values less than 10k which means 
this is an insanely hard keyword and you would not want to target something like this the more contextual links a page has with the target keyword phrase or closely related phrases in the anchor the harder it will be to outrank it consider this page that is ranking in the top 3 for the phrase how long does ground coffee stay fresh if we take a look at the links this page has it has a total of 3 backlinks let's look at the anchor text of these links none of the links has the target phrase or any phrase related to the target phrase in the anchor text now let's take a look at this page that is ranking for the phrase best coffee maker with grinder this page has 110 backlinks of it 30 are contextual links and quite a few backlinks have words related to coffee makers and coffee grinders in them so this phrase will certainly be a lot harder than the other phrase how long does ground coffee stay fresh to rank for mostly because results in the top 10 have backlinks with anchors that are very closely related to target phrase and they do have quite a few more contextual links as well now let's take a look at this page this page is ranking at number one for the phrase insurance company this page has 6 million backlinks of which 369,000 are contextual and the page has more than 10,000 backlinks with the phrase insurance company in the anchor text which is one of the reason why this phrase insurance company is extremely hard to rank for to rank for a phrase we will need to do better than the pages ranking at the very top and it will be extremely hard to do better than a website like allstate.com if the top search results are fluctuating a lot that's an indication that users are not very happy with the results Google is displaying and Google is kind of desperately trying to find a page that's a very good match to the keyword intent if you run the search in it Ahrefs keyword explorer for this phrase insurance company and scroll down till you get to the section sub position history you will see the top results are in a state of flux compare it with the graph for this keyword best bar grinder for course grind even though this page jumped from nowhere into the top and the results are more or less very stable and have been so far several months now the in this indicates these pages are possibly a very good match for keyword intent which is why google is keeping them ranked at the top contrast with this sub position history for coffee it's apparent that at least some of the sites are not a very good match for keyword intent while there might be an opportunity here for keywords like these it may not be easy to create content that matches user intent these keywords are too broad and there is no easy way to understand what exactly users may want to see when they search for very broad term like this but if you see something like this happening for your target keyword phrase you would want to consider that a very good sign it would indicate many of the pages that are ranking at the top are not good matches for keyword intent and if you are able to create a page that matches user intent 
and is well optimized, you should be able to outrank pages that are currently ranking at the top. It's not just external links we need to look at when analyzing keyword difficulty. We also need to look at the number and quality of internal links to a page. Internal links play a big role in search rankings and these are often overlooked when analyzing keyword competition. Let's suppose you want to rank for business process outsourcing and you need to analyze the internal links to the pages ranking in the top 10. This page is ranking at number one position in this organic result. Let's take a look at how many internal links this page has. This page has a total of 14 internal backlinks. You would want to click on each of these and look at what kind of links it is. Contextual links are the most powerful links for sidebar and footer do not really matter. You would want to see how many internal contextual links a page has. The more internal contextual links a page has, the harder it will be to outrank it. The page authority or the URL rating of backlinks to a page plays a key role in search rankings. Pages with lots of backlinks from high PA or high UR pages can be very very hard to beat. For instance, if we look at the backlinks to the number one rank page for this keyword, best coffee creamer for weight loss, this page has 11 backlinks, but the highest UR for any page in this list is only seven the rest have others that are a lot lower than uh, the other results if we compare if we take a look at the backlinks to this page quite a few of these pages have a ur of more than 50 the page also has more than 369,000 contextual backlinks Organic traffic to your page is perhaps the most relevant metric we need to pay attention to. If a page A has backlinks from several pages that get organic traffic from Google, chances, chances are Google will rank page a pretty high in the SERPs. Google does not send much traffic to low quality pages. Pages that consistently get traffic from Google are usually pages with high quality content and pages that Google sends thousands of visitors to every month are pages Google values very highly. Backlinks from pages that get hundreds or thousands of visitors every month can be very very powerful to know whether a page has backlinks from other relevant pages that get organic traffic, go to Site Explorer and run a search on the URL. This page has a total of 9 backlinks and just a handful of these pages are getting any traffic. This one gets 5 visitors a month. This one maybe gets a visitor a month and that said none of the other pages gets any traffic contrast this pages linking to allstate.com many of these pages that are linking to this page receives hundreds of visitors a month backlinks like these from pages that are getting hundreds of visitors a month have a lot of value backlinks like these are extremely hard to get Unless a company is an acknowledged leader in a massive industry, it will not have backlinks like this. Any page with backlinks like these from pages receiving traffic from Google will be hard to beat. This is one important check you would want to run before you decide to target a keyword. Thanks for watching and keep supporting and keep watching my channel for more informational videos. Oh, 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 oh,